Let's welcome Congressman Tom McClintock of House Judiciary. First to this, the news coming in about Senator Mitch McConnell saying that President Trump is 100 percent within his right to basically challenge the election results. What is your reaction to that story? Because we're hearing a backlash against Senator McConnell now. What's your take? Well, there have been serious allegations of illegal votes and illegal procedures. And by the way, there are still vote counts going on in uh, states that may uh, flip the outcome. Uh, so uh, we have a process that's very good at weighing the evidence of these allegations. Um, and I think that's absolutely vital to the legitimacy of the election. Uh, if, if the allegations are not fully aired and the evidence is weighed, then there will be a pall of illegitimacy hanging over uh, the next president of the United States. Uh, we need to allow the process okay. to play out. Okay, let's move on to this, a Democrat civil war. There's a tremendous amount of infighting. Uh, Congressman, as progressives now fear they would be squeezed out, out of power in an incoming uh, Biden administration, uh, Democrats are now blaming the loud left for the embarrassing losses. But look at this. Uh, the, you know, the, de the Democrats are saying socialism is not a good playbook to run on. Uh, you hear that from Henry Cuellar, Jim Clyburn, Cedric Richardson. They're saying the hard left socialist playbook, the playbook was not a good one. It didn't equal losses, uh, equal victories, it equal losses. But what is your reaction to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? She's a leading member of the Democratic Socialists of America. She's now trying to claim socialism is just a Republican smear and is largely a slogan. What's your take on that? Well, if you read the Biden-Sanders unity declaration, it is a veritable socialist manifesto. Uh, the Californication of the country, if you will. Uh, I do think that Ocasio-Cortez is correct that uh, Biden owes the far left his election. Uh, and um, uh, I think that they are going to do everything they can to collect on that debt. And I'm not entirely sure he's going to be adverse to it. Again, during the campaign, don't forget, he said that he was going to put Beto O'Rourke in charge of gun policy, Ocasio-Cortez uh, uh, on uh, energy. Uh, and uh, just yesterday, he said that uh, Ezekiel Emanuel is going to be on his coronavirus task force, who's calling for a stringent lockdown of the country with devastating economic consequences for every family. Okay, so, you know, let's move back to this. I hear what you're saying about that. But, you know, we also, we're just checking the rhetoric, right? We just want to keep it honest and keep it real. Because now we have De uh, Democrat Representative Ilhan Omar from Minnesota. You remember, she called to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. She's now saying that was just a Republican narrative that ra radical movements are to blame for Democrat losses. But she does say that defund the police movement, quote, complicated the races for Democrats in swing districts. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says defund the police, that nobody campaigned on that. Uh, but, but, you know, she's trying to downplay that. We know that nobody really outright campaigned on it, but the electorate reacted to it. Voters reacted to it. They don't want defund the police in many of these cities that are seeing crime going up. Remember, we had in July squad members Ayanna Presley and Rashida Tlaib, they both backed legislation to strip federal funding for police departments. Now it seems like the squad is running away from their prior positions. What do you think? I don't think they're running away from those positions at all. I think they are um, uh, very intent on continuing to press to those policies. I, I'm sure they're trying to downplay they're trying them to downplay now, it but, now. But they have been yeah. very intent on enacting these policies uh, for the last several years. And uh, the American people saw the violence in the streets, the breakdown of law and order, and watched these leftist regimes in various cities uh, actually defunding the police and deliberately withholding police protection from honest, law-abiding citizens as these left-wing mobs uh, uh, crusaded uh, uh, in a rampage that burned people's businesses, uh, destroyed their livelihoods, and threatened their lives. So the, the American people, I think, got a pretty clear view of what life will be like if the left takes over. And um, in that regard, I suppose Abraham Lincoln had some good advice for us. He said the voters are everything. If the voters get their backsides too close to the fire, they'll just have to sit on the blisters a while. Hopefully, when the final electoral count is done, uh, that won't be the case uh, uh, in this election. But it doesn't look good at the moment. You know, the, but we had Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez 
Uh, nobody really took this seriously, but she was tweeting out, you know, take the names of, quote, the Trump sycophants and archive them. Uh, because, you know, they're talking about payback, effectively. Yeah. And you know, so I, I understand calling... people aren't taking it seriously. Yeah, the, in other words, the hard left now wants Biden to exact revenge. But Biden is calling for unity. He, you know, Wall Street Journal editorial page, he's saying that, saying he's saying that after he called Trump supporters, quote, chumps, um, and blamed Trump for every COVID-19 death. Uh, so, you know, so the rhetoric on both sides has been really divisive. It needs to be toned down. What do you think? Well, I'm afraid that Biden is simply a figurehead uh, and that the hard left will be in control of that administration. I mean, we can see that with his selection of uh, his vice presidential uh, candidate, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, the most liberal, uh, actually I should say leftist, uh, member of the U.S. Senate. Um, that's deeply disturbing. And, and only right, time Congressman will tell. McClintock is... Okay, it's good to see you, Congressman. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Liz.